Hello, everybody, and here we are. It is now June. We have the statistics for the Edmonton area real estate sales from May. So, Jay, we're here together. Let's talk about what's going on in Edmonton with the real estate. We're well into spring. What happened in May? Yeah, it was an interesting month, wasn't it? There's lots of exciting things happening, um, but let's just jump right into the real estate. That's what we're here for. So, hey, in uh, inventory is the number that we like to start with in Greater Edmonton for May of 2024, 5,841. And so we're up a little bit, as you can see, from April and from March. Sales, again, we're up to 32.20 in May up a little bit from April and March, kind of the same sort of rate of change. So yeah, inventory and sales seem to be sort of marching forward as we've seen in the past as well, for sure. Right. Yeah. And the good thing to see in there is that there's actually less than two months worth of inventory, right? If no new inventory yeah. came on market, probably seven weeks later, everything would be gone. So that does point to a pretty hopping, uh, hopping market, doesn't it? Great if you're a seller, um, tough if you're a buyer though. So, and, yeah. but there's more to talk about that as well, but Really, um, we'll just talk about sort of the rate of change. Um, detached month over month was up 1.1%. Doesn't seem like a little number, but that's actually significant. Um, you know, up 13% year over year if we were to annualize that number. So that's big. Year over year, though, we're still up 6.4%. That's a great number for detached homes. Semi-detached. So we're talking about your your uh, duplexes here or non condomized um, townhomes up two and a half percent year over year up 10.8 percent that's a great big number as well too row houses we actually lost some steam in the month of may down 1.3 percent um, still up 18 percent year over year we're going to watch this number and see what happens um, for june i feel like this might be an outlier but we'll, we'll watch and see what happens with that number apartment and condos were still up 3.7 percent month over month 9.7% year over year. So we still, as you can see, we've actually got some, some good momentum still in our market um, going into this month of June here. Detached homes price, you know, that matters a lot to everybody. Of course, $500,000 in May up five grand from April and up 25 from March. So that's, that's a pretty significant jump as well. Let's talk about our next property type semi detached $410,000 up 10 grand from April and March was 400 as well. So pretty solid numbers here as well. Townhomes, 295,000. Uh, we talked about that drop there, right? 298 in April, 290. And so it was kind of, we'll see what happens next month with this number as well. And last but not least, we have apartments at 192,000. April 185, March 186, still some affordable options in this property type here in Edmonton for sure. Fantastic. Thanks for sharing all of that with us here, Jay. I know it's just a bunch of numbers, but it does show strength in Edmonton's <clears throat> market. Uh, obviously, some of these numbers seem high, but actually some of them are kind of low. You know, if you're looking at homes people want, the detached homes tend to be a bit higher if you're looking for something with like, say, a garage. But this is the median price of the entire property type segment across the entire white area. So if you're looking for more specific information of a specific area or a specific type of home that you're looking for, make sure you do reach out to us, reach out to Jay, especially for that. Um, in the meantime, we are putting out these videos every single week. Please click on like, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell, and you can be notified every Wednesday when our new videos come out. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to next time. Thank you.